All right. Now I've got her warmed up. She's a little over about 220 last time I looked, which is just a little over 100 degrees Celsius. Now, uh, what I'm doing is she, I just felt her start to slip. It usually slips when I'm going uphill. And right now I got my Foxwell out here and I'm gonna be trying to figure out what gear it actually does. I'm pretty sure it, it slips from fourth to fifth. But, uh, and then once in a while from, if I get into fifth, it would go six fifth to six but that's a little bit harder without going on the highway and stuff like that anyway you'll see what I'm doing it tells me the gear it tells me if my converters locking up what's going on with there and a bunch of other things yeah, here I'll just go through them you know break the path the press this goes all the way right around okay but anyway that's what I'm gonna be watching on this trip. Hey, how you doing, everybody? This is underneath the 745. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm draining my transmission. Okay, first thing you do is you come over here, and this is on the driver's bottom. You see this torque socket here? You want to turn that counterclockwise just to crack that. That's a Torx 50, and there's a drain plug right up there and you're going to take you just take that loose because if you don't all oh, it's going to come pouring out of there so then what you want to do is you come over here and you release this one you turn this out like well you don't drop it in the pan obviously but uh okay it'll all a lot of it will drain out and then what i do is i go around and you see these little the bolt holes i i take out everything except for the bolt here here and the, up in the front here one on each corner I take out all the other bolts and they were I believe Torx I want to say Torx 40 okay and then what I do is I let these here I'll show you one of the bolts just to this goes in here and I let it I pull these down until here, I'll show you. So there's just a few threads in there. You see what I mean? And then I'll loosen the back ones less so that the pan is tilted toward this way. All right. And then it'll, it'll just, it'll, mine just released. Okay. And then what I do is I take both this end out. And when I do that, it'll all come spilling over the edge here. So you want to make sure you have your pan ready. Okay, now once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to take your, and you're going to go down to the other two corners. I can't reach them from right here, but I'll, I'll try to get you a picture. And then you take that down, and then you're going to be able to raise your pan up. And be careful, there's still going to be some fluid in here. And then you're going to let that drain down into your pan there. Look how murky that stuff is. Yuck. <laughs> you don't want to get it on you. Okay, and then you can drop it and go from there all right now I'm gonna try to come up and around here there, you can just see the one of the last bolts right there there's the one side now I'm gonna have to have my hands on this pan when I take this one and then there's one over here on the other side oh, can I see it my arms not quite long enough huh Is it? Oh, okay. There it is. It's right there. So I'm going to take this bolt out, which is the passenger side, and this bolt out, which is the driver's side, and then I'm going to lower this pan. Okay? I'll All right. talk to you in a minute. Now we're back here at the Megatronic unit. I mean, I've dropped everything as you can see. Let's focus you a little better than that. Okay, about her. It's very close under here. I should probably raise it up if I decide to drop the tranny, but I'm just working on that. And what I found so far is over here, right there, if you can see it, there is a number scratched in there. And that tends to, to say that it has been 
rebuilt and installed and I got a hundred thousand miles on here and anyway I'm not thinking it's the Megatronic unit anyway I'm thinking my problem is my rear stator bushing okay but I'm going to take a look at this one while I'm under here I, I already have a bridge seal and, and the uh, unit adapters so what you want to do is okay over here this is on the passenger side in the rear. You want to pull this down and release it. Is that, is that a tad? Okay, and what that does is that releases the lock. Can you see it up in there? For, we're talking about this in my last video, for the Uh, Megatronic unit electric. You can just see the tail end of it right over, right down, right up in here. You got to unlock the lock ring, pull the plug out, then you're going to have to get a, a screwdriver and pry the uh, sleeve out. Okay? And then you can start taking down your Megatronic unit. You're going to make sure though that you don't touch those pins up there. That would be a no no. Okay? So, I'll be getting back to you. Alright. Looking in the pan. And there's some, some clutch material. And see. But I'll tell you what. I've seen worse. And I've smelled a lot worse. Well, there, around the drain there's a little bit. And in there. The magnets. They got a little bit on them. See that? All that black shit. That's metallic. Look at all that. That's all nasty, nasty. But uh, it doesn't look that bad. I've seen worse. So, this ought to be fun. But anyway, it looks like it probably needs to be changed, I guess. Anyway, when I was under there, I was able to look at the the Megatronic sleeve fell right out, the easiest one I've ever seen. That might have had something to do with it. Being uh, that adapter, rather. That might, if you remember why I had the loose experience, we'll see when we go to put it back together. But anyway, we're making progress. I'm just going to wait for it to drain down right now. Uh, you know. Some people don't like these cars. I think it's pretty nice. I think it's too nice to just let it go. So, I, I'm pretty sure that it needs a rear stator bushing as I'm slipping in fifth gear. Usually, slipping in fifth gear going up a hill, <laughs> to be specific. When I'm flat, it doesn't seem to have it. So, it must just be triggering, you know, the extra of the weight of the car going up the hill. I don't know. Maybe I just drive different. But, uh, all right, I'm going to let you go for right now and we'll get more into it after I drop the valve body. All right, now I'm going to drop the Megatronic unit. I've already pulled out the seal, I mean the adapter from up here. The plug's sitting right here, you can see. Uh, now there's one, two, one, two, three. And one, two, three, four. On the release of those bolts, the Megatronic unit will drop and can be removed. What you want to do is you want to leave, say, you want to take everything out, but say this one and this one. Okay, and then you want to take those out slowly and drop it in a controlled manner. You want to put it someplace where it's not going to get hurt. What I'll probably do is slide it, put it on the uh, old pan, just till I get it out from under here. All right. Okay, in the previous shot, I believe I told you the wrong bolt. It's not this one, it's one, two, three. So it's one, two, and three up here, three shorties. 
that go right there. Here, I'll see if you can see that. You see them? Three shorties. Then you got three more. One, two, three. Then you have down at this end, one, two, three, four. Okay? And that's what you got to do to drop your valve body down. Hey, how you doing? Remember, if you ever need to do the plate, there's what it would be. Not take, you have to look on your valve body or your Megatronic, if it, which, excuse me. It would be B035 because you're looking at mine upside down. Okay? And there's the rest of everything. Now, I've heard that these hand engraved numbers mean that the body has been rebuilt. By the looks of the fluid, fluid didn't look too bad. I don't think it was done too long ago. I've seen way worse fluid, smelled way worse fluid. But uh, I'm just going over here to decide what I'm going to do now because. Oh, and by the way, I looked at the bridge seal. The bridge seal was perfect. It was hard, but it wasn't cracked. So, well, that wasn't really the symptoms that I was looking for anyway. But I'm, I got a bridge seal. I got to throw in those uh, four seals. Were all proud. Didn't look like they were leaking. Everything looked pretty recent under there. You know what I mean? Within reason. So I'm debating whether to do even do my solenoids now because it's not really a hard job to. I think the hardest thing about this job would be to uh, refill it, honestly. But, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go order my, I think I'm going to go inside and order a rebuild kit for the tranny and or drop the tranny. That ought to be fun. Dropping it in the garage under that, right? That look like fun? <laughs> yep. All right. Crash me in. Have